G'day, welcome to Matt's workshop. In this video, I'm going to take a break from building my laser machine. I'm waiting for some parcels to arrive, uh, the laser tube and some other bits and pieces that I ordered so I can go on with the next step. But uh, in the meantime, I thought what I'd do is project video on uh, working with acrylic. I've been playing with acrylic, doing acrylic inlay into acrylic and playing with the settings to adjust for the uh, laser cut um, curve. So in this video, I'm going to play around with an Australian flag, make a light box and uh, just have a look at some of the settings and how I did it in Lightburn. All right, so I've got my Australia flag and uh, as you can see, we've got three different colors and uh, we're going to edit this so that we can uh, do an inlay. But uh, I've noticed that there's a few problems with the file to start with and some of those are just uh, crooked nodes and things that don't line up nicely so we'll fix those first and uh, just to show you what I'm talking about if we zoom in on this section this line doesn't attach to this one so what we need to do is uh, actually fix this up all right so I've got the um, flag sorted out and it's been uh, edited and made sure that everything's going to fit nicely so what we'll do to start with is we'll copy and paste this so press copy I like to save as I go so I'll press save and I'm going to paste it another two more times over here and just so I remember which is which I'm going to leave one red one black which will be the white and the other one we're going to have as blue we'll work on the blue part of the flag first so we're looking at our picture down the bottom there we're going to remove all the red and the white cuts from around that union jack so I'm just going to zoom in on that section here and do some node editing and just remove part of the cuts that we don't need. So I'm just going to quickly go through, delete the cuts that we don't need. Uh, just so that uh, if you haven't done node editing before, if you hover your mouse over a line and press the D button on the keyboard, it will delete it. If you hover it over a node and press the D, it will delete it. If you hover it over line and press I, it will insert one. And if you press S, it will give you the smoothing function with the handle so you can do the twists and the curves. So that's uh, node editing. If you want to delete a node, press delete. And if you want to undo, of course, it's the same as any other time is control Z. So we're just removing nodes that we don't want. So what I want to do is when we uh, cut with a laser, we get a slight angle on the edge of our acrylic. So what I want to do is actually cut one in reverse so that it slides up and fits nicely so we don't have a gap at the front or at the back. So to start with, what I want to do is I'm going to mirror image the blue because uh, everything else can fit into it the right way up. So that's going to be flipped completely around the other way. So I'm just going to save a little bit of material, and move them closer together. So we want to make this one continuous piece and uh, the way I'm going to do that is just do some node editing and weld this all together just by clicking on the corners. There's something going on there. There's another line on top of the line. So let's delete, oops, let's delete that node there and we want to just click on that node, it will join that node to that node so that it's dotted line all the way around the, um, the thing. So that's now all one piece. Let's have a look at the other ones. Now, I've worked out on mine that it's a 0.2 offset. So I've got 0 0.2 going outwards with a corner style. We don't want a rounded or a beveled style and we want to delete the original objects. So I'm going to press OK and it will create new uh, shapes, 0.2 of a millimetre offset all the way around the edge. And uh, part of the reason is I'm going to be cutting this one uh, face up, which means it'll slide in through the back of the blue one, which is why I flipped that blue one over. So now I want to move over to our red section. Okay, so that's our red. Now there's no use moving all these together because we're still going to use the same amount of material. So I'm not too worried about that. So there we've got our, our colors. Now they're all going to be cut out of acrylic so I can um, select them all. Um, 
and I'm just going to save our file to start with. I have a preset cut that I can assign to all these layers, so I'm going to assign those there. And I'm running a 80 watt laser, and I've found that this setting is actually quite good for the laser, especially when I'm doing inlay work. So just to recap what we're going to do, the is to face up, and as you can see here, the face will be down because I've flipped the flag. And that's so that the slight angle of the, uh, the cut will help it all fit together nicely. So let's get uh, on to the cutting phase. So the material that I'm going to be using is uh, from Trotec. And uh, here in Australia the web address is engraving-supplies.com.au And uh, I've got uh, Tro LED or Tro Glass LED. And uh, I have that in the blue, the white, and I've got a spare piece of red that I had left over seeing as I didn't need to use much for the previous job and there's not much going to be used on this one. Okay, so I've got it set up. I've changed the origin to the top corner here and uh, we're going to cut this out. This is the blue one. I've uh, set the height and we're going to leave the height the same for all of them. And uh, it's important to leave this, the, not adjust the height between them we're using exactly the same thickness material but if we even change the focal distance slightly it can change the effect of the uh, the cut through the acrylic so we'll cut this one out and see how it all goes together File, white, and we'll go. Someone's at the door, I need to pause the job. Because someone came to the door, I had to press pause. This is paused at the moment. And uh, the good thing about that interruption was I got a delivery of two pieces here from Cloud Ray in China. I'm expecting this to be the C90 laser tube and some more components for the laser machine. And uh, the laser build will still continue. I'm just uh, taking a break today to do this little project. But now that these parts are here, we can continue on that laser build which I'm excited about but let's just get back to uh, this uh, project that we're doing today as much as I'd like to stop and start having a look at my new shipment we'll keep working so we can now press pause play again and continue So I had a little bit of a malfunction with my microphone so the audio stopped recording partway through the cut of the red. I'm just uh, now inserting the white sections into the blue flag and uh, they click in really nicely. It's a nice tight fit and no adhesive is required there. And as you can see here it's uh, nice and flush and uh, there's no gaps around the side which is uh, exactly what we're after. All right, so I had a little problem putting it all together and um, I'm going to need to use this product called Cygrip. It's uh, an acrylic welding or adhesive. And uh, my problem was that the size, when I made the size adjustments for the white, we cut the blue out and then made the white 0.2 millimeters larger and they fit really nice um, and they don't fall out. The problem I had was I also made the red 0.2 millimeters larger but uh, it shouldn't have been it should have been left the same as the blue size because if we have a look at the way that the color comes it goes blue up into the red and it's actually this section of white that we have to adjust so i've recut the red because uh, when i put it together i forced this corner and because it was too close together it snapped so we're using a product called uh, Cygrip, which is an adhesive or... So I'm just going to use this Cygrip on here 
just to weld this corner back together um, and because I made that mistake unfortunately I've made a little bit of a mess of my final result but uh, lesson learnt for the next one if I make another flag let's get this into a light box this is the outside size of our frame so what we want to do is make a box for it to fit in so first of all we can just uh, select everything else and delete it and uh, we know that our size is sitting right here it's 550 millimeters by 280 so to save time what you can do is head over to a website that is called makeacase.com so this is makeacase.com and what we can do is change it to millimeters because we're working in millimeters and we want it um, we just have a quick check again of what we're at 550 millimeters by for a 280 millimeters in height and the depth we only need it to be about 60 mil deep it doesn't have to be very deep at all so this is what the box is starting to look like if we zoom in on it and I want to use a finger joint so we can go fingers and it will put finger joints all the way around the edges I actually might make this uh, just a little bit bigger so we'll go 80 and we want these dimensions for the inside so we want the uh, box to fit on the inside is the thing to fit on the inside of this and uh, we're going to download this plan so the finger size though we don't need them but that big so we can change the finger size so we'll go 39 millimeters and we'll download those box plans so it shows us our front and back etc and um, we're going to go download an SVG or a DXF so I'm going to just download an SVG so we get our file here and now we're going to bring that into Lightburn and we'll get rid of this move that out of the way so we have our back our front right left etc and what we need to do is get rid of the front we don't need it so we individualize all the pieces to start with so that's individualized so we can get rid of the front and we want the pieces to be straight along the edge so we can go into node edit mode so we can go into these nodes and delete some of them so we delete uh, the one at that end go across to this one and delete that one there which will allow us to select the remaining line and delete it so now what we can do is join these two lines up bringing them together and snapping it into place like so alright so I've got the uh, make a case all edited out so we've got nice straight edges along the edges that we need and I've also made some inserts uh, slightly smaller for the uh, acrylic flag to sit on on the edge uh, I've put a hole in the bottom here so that we can run the wire out the back and plug it into a PowerPoint and uh, I'm going to cut that out now and then we'll go straight to assembly Some masking tape around the corners hold it in place wipe some of the excess glue off first you can always come back and take it off later on this board it's quite good and then I'm going to run a piece of tape all the way around so the next thing I want to do that is uh, insert the extra pieces so I've got the hole over in this corner over here and I've got the corresponding piece and that'll get glued on the inside giving us the lip that um, we need for it to rest the acrylic on so all we need to do with that is just pop some glue on there doesn't matter it's just there as a support And we'll let that dry while we go get some lights okay so we can take the tape off now okay so I bought the three meter 
strip light. There wasn't a big price difference between this and the 2 meter and they didn't have the 2 meter in stock anyway. So I've been able to go around uh, the box twice with this um, strip light. It's a good quality one. It's nice and strong and hopefully it's nice and bright. So the next thing we can do is put in our flag and we'll grab that been sitting over there nicely and hopefully this slides in without a hitch it's like we measured up for it cut down these metal strips and they've got the 3m adhesive on them as well so that's the same adhesive that's used for the strip lighting so it's very strong it's not um, designed to come off and I'm going to line them up and stick them on the side so the uh, the Australian flag feeling a bit patriotic there um, made that uh, with the acrylic and the moment of truth we turn it on and see what she looks like having a few little issues with the camera focusing on it there anyway but I'll put some photos up which you can have a look and um, I'm going to get back into uh, having a look at these uh, parcels that arrived while I was uh, making this light box. So thanks for visiting Matt's workshop. I hope you've enjoyed the video. I know it's a longer video than I would normally do, but this uh, project was actually quite fun. I've enjoyed doing it and I hope you've learned something from it as well. If you have any questions, don't uh, hesitate to leave a comment below or send me an email. you find my social media and website links in the description below. And until next time, take care. Cheers.